All right, it's 415, so I think we should um, bring the meeting to order. <clears throat> this is the Historic District Commission. The time is 415, date is September 9th, 2021. Um, this uh, meeting was noticed in the Fairfield Citizen on August 22nd, 2021, and we'll take um, attendance. We'll start with uh, Mark Ravanis. Uh, hi, Adam. Mark Ravanis, uh, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Chris Shea. Chris Shea, Commissioner. Thank you. Rosina Negron. Rosina Negron, Commissioner. And George Clark. George Clark, Alternate Commissioner. Thank you. And I'm Adam Cliver, Commissioner. And <clears throat> absent this evening is uh, Aaron Raymond Locke, Commissioner, Alyssa Stack, Commissioner, or um, Alternate Commissioner, and Jim Bohan, Alternate Commissioner. Um, the designation of alternate voting is Clark. I guess it's just Clark. Alyssa Stack is not here, and Jim Bohan is not <laughs> here. So, George, you'll be voting on the applications, be- I think, on all of them. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, maybe voting on all the applications. Okay. So, great. So, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Look out, guys. Look out. Okay. I apologize for the noise in the background. First item on the agenda is Southport Congregational Church. Oh, before the other thing is just to, to make sure that you mute yourselves if you're not presenting or, or speaking. Appreciate it. Uh, <clears throat> Southport Congregational Church, 612 Pequot Avenue in Southport. The property located at 612 Pequot Avenue in Southport for a new fence to replace existing at Parsonage. Hi, uh, Adam, this is Tim O'Neill uh, from the Southport Congregational Church. I'm the buildings and grounds manager. Um, I'm sitting here with Paul DePrado, the uh, director of the administration here. Uh, sorry, we can't get the video working. Uh, I'm not sure why, uh, but uh, we'd like to share that with you. But uh, we're having a problem. Um, um, I can show. I can present it for you. Show you. Well, um, that's all right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hang on one second. Do you want me to uh, explain what we're going to do here? Yeah. Let me just pull it up first. And okay. Walk us through. You see your application? I do. Let me see something else. Well, I see a gift certificate here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, the church owns uh, a residence at 612 Pequot Avenue. It's referred to as the parsonage. The ministers live there. Um, there's an existing uh, fence line between uh, 612 and the neighbor at 560 Pequot Avenue, and that's the residence between the church and the parsonage. The uh, they, the, the uh, driveway of the parsonage and 560 share a, a, a common fence, and the fence runs from Pequot Avenue, the sidewalk back, there it is, that's the front towards the road, and uh, the front portion is a uh, tongue and groove uh, six foot fence. And that goes 70 feet from the sidewalk uh, about to about midway down the driveway. And then at that, after the 70 feet, the, the, the fence changes from uh, tongue and groove to a uh, four foot uh, stockade fence. And that runs another uh, 70 feet to the back of the uh, uh, driveway. So what we wanna do is we'd like, and, and that fence, that uh, four foot stockade fence is uh, crumbling and it's ready to fall over. Uh, so what we'd like to do is we'd like to uh, eliminate that and then uh, match the uh, tongue and groove fence that you see there on the right and just carry that back uh, the same uh, distance that the uh, stockade fence exists to, which is 70 feet. And uh, that picture is an example that my fence company sent me of what the fence would look like. Uh, and that's a fence that went in at the Pequot Library uh, when they were doing some uh, recent renovations. Um, so that's kind of what, uh, that's what we'd like to do. 
Okay, thank you. Um, Mark, do you want to start with questions? Uh, sure, uh, Adam, uh, I, I really don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Chris, questions? Yeah, hi. Um, thank you for your presentation. I just um, had one question. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, two questions. So the, I understand where the, uh, the existing picket fence, yeah, that photograph there, number five, thank you. Um, is, is kind of dilapidated and, and you're going to replace it. The image that you have of the proposed stockade fence, or, yeah, that, that fence, doesn't have a, a horizontal rail in the middle of it. And it looks like the existing one that you're going to match does. Are you intending to um, change the look from the existing fence to the new one without the horizontal rail? Uh my my understanding was that there would be a horizontal rail in there like the like the existing fence i'm looking okay so that's what i that's what that's the way i would do it okay so it'll it will match the existing with that horizontal rail yes absolutely and then the other question was um i just wasn't clear on the extent of the of the new fence because the site plan that you have Shows some other fencing on it as well, and I just wanted to just be clear where you're planning on doing it. Is right. The um, we're just going to go uh, up along the driveway. The fence the fence turns at the back of the driveway towards the neighbor. Um, right there, correct. It turns to the right uh, from that indicator. But we're not going to do anything other than replace that stockade fence to where that Jeep and that tree come together. That's 70 feet from the start of it. So the, the site plan shows okay. kind of, if you go up to the site plan, it shows kind of in the upper left-hand corner of the property. You go up, to, yeah, up there. And it calls for a stockade fence up there. Um, so, um, that's a different part of the property that uh, borders the uh, Trinity and the town's parking lots. Uh, we have we have no intention of touching those fences. Okay, so the only area we're talking about is um, as you're looking at this map on the right hand side, kind of center of the property where it says proposed fence. Correct. And and how many lineal feet of fence is that about? I think you said 70? 70. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Chris. Rosina? No question. Thank you. And George. George? Uh, no questions. Thank you. Thank you. I do not have any questions either. <clears throat> and I did not receive any uh, letters in favor of this application, and I did not receive any letters opposing this application. So the uh, hearing is closed. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Next item on the agenda is Old South Road LLC, 171 Old South Road in Southport, the property located at 171 Old South Road in Southport for uh, A, garage cupola, and B, Change previously approved garage light. Good afternoon, uh, Adam. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Yeah, this is Jack Franzen. I'm representing um, Fred for this, um, Fred Ryan for this project. Uh, this home that's um, in that corporate um, corporate name. We are proposing a cupola for the garage, the new garage that's just been built. Um, I'm going to share my screen if I could. Can you see it? Are you able are you able to see the screen now? Yes. Uh yes, Great. Yeah. 
questions here. Great. So the garage is located at the rear corner of the property, the upper left corner here, and the proposed cupola is going on on the ridge. Um, the cupola is square in plan. It's uh, 31 inches square, and it's 52 inches high if you measure from the ridge to the um, of the garage to the peak of the cupola. Uh, it's going to have um, four fixed sash, which will have four lights, and each of the sash measures 18 inches by 22 inches. It's all going to be painted wood. Uh, the roof is going to be wood shingles, and the and the sash that I just described, they're going to be wood SDL construction. And the um, the other part of the application is to um, uh, put lights on the garage. We had previously gotten one light approved. We had our lighting designer out there, and she thought we were making a big mistake with one light. So we'd like to have two lights. They would be positioned as shown in this elevation, one on either side of the paired garage doors. And um, there are lights that actually are being moved from the front porch uh, to this location. So um, that is the whole application. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Jack. Uh, Chris, questions? Thank you, Jack. Um, on the cupola, is the um, are there is it a is it a real cupola? Like, does it go through to the second to the attic? You know, we I I'm not sure. There's a structural ridge there, and uh, it's possible that it that it might. But I'm, I don't think he's decided if he wants to do that yet. Um, is there any? Is there any? Um, light that's going to be visible from the uh, fixed sash in the cupolas? No, there won't be any fixtures there, but if, if it was connected to the uh, to the room below it, there would might be some indirect light. Okay, that was my only question. Thank you. <clears throat> Rosina, questions? No question. Thank you. Thank you. George, questions? George? Who is George? Okay. I had, uh, no, we I've, muted my, I, I've, been, I've been listening to you tell me mute. I'm sorry. Uh, Jack, it was a nice presentation. <laughs> I don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank, and Art, questions? Uh, none for me, Adam. Thanks. Thank you, Art. And I do not have any questions. And um, I do not receive any letters in favor of this application. May I not receive any letters opposing this application. So the hearing is closed. Thank you, Jack. Thank you very much. The next item on the agenda is Thomas and Royce and Black, 889 <clears throat> Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 889. Old Post Road in Fairfield for A, new garage, B, lighting fixtures, C, change driveway, and D, stepping stones. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Jack Franson again. I'm representing Tom and Royce and Black, who are the owners of the property. This, um, this place is located right at the 90 degree turn in the Old Post Road. So when you're heading, when you're heading, um, when you're heading south from from the post road and, and you come to the to the stop sign and you're about to turn east on the old post road, this is the parcel that you face directly. The house is listed in the guidebook as Tudor Revival, and it was built uh, apparently in 1935. And um, here's the house on the site plan. The, um, the property also has a guest cottage which is located on the east side. There's an existing cottage here that um, looks a lot like the house. It's got the same stucco finish on the exterior, although not as much ivy. Like if you look at the main house, it's mostly ivy now. Uh, underneath that is all stucco. At the rear of the property, there's an existing pool 
and there's now an enclosure, there's a fence that goes across uh, effectively separating the last 70 feet of the property from, from the rest of the yard. <clears throat> Currently, there's no uh, covered off street parking. And what we'd like to do is build a garage. And our design replicates the existing massing and roof line of the cottage. It's hard to see the cottage from the public way, but it does have um, on the on the uh, west side, it's got a swooped roof. Very much, we actually measured it and copied it. So the, the, the cornice and the roof shape and everything, it's exactly like what you see on the cottage uh, behind the house, except we're doing this, this roof on both sides of the building, not just one side. Um, the, uh, the dimensions are almost exactly the same. The garage is about three and a half feet wider, but it's exactly the same depth as the, um, as the cottage. The, um, garage doors, um, are going to be, uh, as drawn, they're overhead doors, but they'll look like swinging doors. They're all wood. Um, all the exposed surfaces will be wood anyway. Um, the fenestration, the uh, double hung windows and the, and the French doors are mimicking the ones that are on the cottage. And um, when, we, when we build the garage, we're gonna modify the driveway. Currently there's, um, I don't know if there's a plan that shows it, but there's like a little gravel. Right now there's a fence here that we're planning to remove. And there's a little gravel apron here. We're going to extend the gravel driveway up to the apron of the new garage and provide this little T turn for maneuvering out of the garage. The, uh, gri the driveway extension is going to match the material, the existing gravel drive. At the rear of the garage, we're taking out a section of fence right here because the garage will effectively become Part of the pool enclosure, the rear elevation will now be enclosing that part of the pool. The proposed lighting, um, we're proposing lanterns that will match the ones on the main house. Um, there's a pair on the French doors on the gable end, and there's a pair on the side facing the backyard, and there's a pair of larger ones on the garage itself. The um, lights, I've got a picture of them. And there's a picture showing the existing cottage. We're going to match the stucco and match the roof shingles. And you can see the, uh, you know, I think it's a fairly nice fixture. It's a sort of Tudor revival style fixture that's on the main house. And that's what we're going to use on, on the garage. Um, all the windows and doors uh, will be wood SDL. All the trim will be wood. The roof, as I said, will be asphalt shingles to match those on the cottage. And um, that sums it up. I'd be happy to answer any questions that you have. Are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Okay, sorry about that. Um, one question: uh, There's, you mentioned fences being removed. Yes. I don't see that on the application as, as part of your application. Let's see. The fences. Oh, that's yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so we can't, unfortunately, we can't consider the removal of the fences, but that, you know, shouldn't be an issue if, if this all moves forward. Um, let me go around. Uh, <clears throat> Rosina, do you have any questions? No questions. Thank you. Thank you. George, questions? Um, no questions, Jack. Thank you. Thank you. 
Art, questions? Um, none for me, Adam. Thank you. Thanks, Art. And Chris, questions? Hi, Jack. Um, can you clarify the extent of the uh, expanded driveway for me? Is it where the <clears throat> does it does it begin where the fence is indicated to be removed? Yes. If you look at uh, if you can see my cursor, this is where the the front uh, the front fence is. That's part of the pool enclosure or part of the yard enclosure. And and this fence behind it, there's a there is a rectangular gravel um, area. So the the this is the this is all new new driveway, but part of it's already gravel. I would say about a third of it's already gravel. Okay, and um, is there any edging proposed for that gravel driveway? If if if, if there is, it would just match exactly what's there now. Okay. I don't recall seeing any edging there. Thank you. I can give you the exact dimension of what the gravel that's <laughs> there now, which is about uh, it's about fifteen by fifteen by thirty six. On the uh, I'll go back to the site plan here. So there's about a about a fifteen foot by thirty six foot strip of gravel already here. Okay. Um, so listen, I have something multiple. Any more questions, Chris? That's it. Thank you. Okay. Never. And um, I do not have any questions. Or you, Jack, um, did not receive any letters in favor of this application, and I did not receive any letters opposing the application. So the hearing is closed. Thank you. Adam, can I just ask a question? Sure. Yeah, so with regard to the fencing, since it didn't appear on the notice, um, we are you going to be able to vote on the other items? And and if so, I assume I got to come back to you for the fence removal. Or is that um, is that yeah, I something think we can, I, I think we can vote on the other other um, items. Okay, thank uh, so you. I, mean, we'll, I guess I'll, we'll have to talk, you know, in executive session to see if anyone has any issues with it, but I. Personally, I don't see we can't. Um, yeah, and it's sort of logical that have to come and, you know, one would we're think. Have to come back and yeah. Yeah, well, I'll listen in. I'll I'll listen into what you guys discuss. But thank you. Okay. Sure. Okay. Next item on the is uh, Richard Mervis, two forty nine Old Old South Road in Southport for property located at two forty nine Old South Road in Southport for a new gravel driveway with cobble apron, B, new bluestone and cobble landing, C, remove picket fence, D, install drainage grate at garage threshold, E, install side garden paving, F, install front entry paving, G, remove section of picket fence along Old South, <clears throat> and H, install black metal railing at basement walkout. I believe that's Christina Gates is representing the mic is old south. She's she's muted. Yeah. She's unmuted now. Lena. Can barely hear you. Hello? Is that better? Yep. <laughs> Every time I have an issue with this. Um, okay, do you want me to start over? I'm Christina Gates. I'm the landscape architect presenting for Richard Mervis and Jeffrey Rosen at 249 Old South Road. Um, as uh, Adam outlined, we have eight items um, for the commission to consider today. Um, one item I just wanted to clarify, and I don't know if I should right now, Adam, in terms of your procedure, but item G, you just stated as remove the picket, but that item also uh, is for a new car gravel pull off as well. Part of the is that application. On the... Yep. 
That's on the application. It is okay. No, Okay. Start. Yes, please. Green. Familiar with this property uh, on the corner of Pequot Avenue and Old South Road. Um, <laughs> of the survey with our proposed work. Um, our first item is the creation of a new curb cut at Pequot Avenue, which is right here. Uh, what we're doing here is we're creating a little bit of a larger courtyard uh, for the two cars, because right now they can only park in diagonally. Uh, so we'd extend that parking area about four, about seven feet and uh, squared off with the house. Right now it's kind of more on an angle with Pequot Avenue. And then this backup area, uh, they can't really do anything with that. So that's the extent of item A. Oh, and it also includes um, a narrow cobble apron here to act as a threshold between the interior and the roadside. Can I use your phone really quick? Okay. Uh, Jessica, can you mute yourself, please? Here. Oh. Sorry. Um, item A, that new gravel courtyard would be um, a gravel area, and it would have the cobble apron and be aligned in this manner. Um, let's see. I see. New gravel landing. That's this portion right here. You can see there's an existing walkway. Um, our new design would be just a little bit larger. And I'll show you in our site plan. Bluestone pattern that we are proposing. There's some really large pieces of bluestone at the front, this existing portion um, of the house. And so we're looking to try to find some of those large pieces. Um, like the front and put them in these two edges and then use some cobble, which they, we've stockpiled from uh, when they were doing construction that was on site and we'd like to reuse all that cobble. So we're trying to integrate that into our um, work here in the paving patterns. This item B, the new front landing. C would be a portion of picket there's a telephone pole right here, uh, and the picket runs all the way down to this corner and over to here. So we would like to remove the picket starting in this portion down to here, and then it picks up again and remove it here. Uh, with the angle of Pequot Avenue and the way we're redesigning the driveway, having the picket run on an angle like that creates a really tight situation here, and it makes the driveway will really askew. So instead, we're just going to propose some plantings here in the front in this space instead of having the picket. So that's why we would like to remove that picket area. I can show you some existing. Looks like this is a portion of the picket that would come out. And then you can see there's a little bit of picket here and picket here that we would have to come out. Item C, um, item D is great. So in the site plan, strip right in front of the garage. And as I showed you right here, all of this water just moves right into this garage area and it's really creating um, a water problem for them. I think when the garage slab was set, the uh, road configuration, it just, it's not working. So we're gonna do some regrading, but as a precautionary um, measure, we would like to install a thin um, grate in front of the driveway. And we've put that detail on our detail sheet. For information on this grate, it's right here. 
E is the paving. Before we're trying to reuse a lot of that cobble that was uh, on site. Um, Up here along the home is a well-traveled path because they park their cars and then they walk out to their mailbox. So we're creating two garden spaces. Uh, there would be a bluestone and uh, cobble paving pattern similar to the front door into a gravel square and more bluestone and cobble into another gravel space where we might put a bench and then more bluestone and cobble in the lawn out to the front. Garden space is here along the garage. They've got the garbage hutch there, and this would just be a path in the grass uh, to the backyard where they have a gate here. You can side garden space right here. front uh, driveway, or sorry, front entrance paving. Uh, as you all know, it's a beautiful um, alienate home, uh, and it has, I'm trying to show you a picture of the entrance. Full symmetry and a lot of detail on the home. So what Regina and I are hoping to do is create a little bit of a more formal entrance working with this historic bluestone um, that runs right up the middle, create uh, a little bit more in the front. And so our plan consists of a rectangle lined in Please watch my cursor. And then this, these interior spaces would be gravel. So it becomes um, more of an entry limiting here. The front of the porch. And then this historic blue stone would, uh, be, would be reused. Um, right now it's kind of set on an angle. I'm not sure why, but um, we would just reset it and make it straight there. So that would be um, the front entry paving item F. Uh, item G, which is the item I was talking about when we first started, um, is for this pull-off area. Um, in order to do this, we would request the removal of the picket in this portion. So the picket would stay here and it would stay on this edge. And there would be a 25-foot uh, driveway pull-off with gravel uh, in the steel edge uh, for two cars. Um, Be a bluestone path that would connect uh, the driveway pull off to the front pathway. And since they've moved there, have had a lot of trouble with parking at this property. Uh, and as many of you know, uh, Pequot Avenue, I'm trying to zoom out, Pequot Avenue and um, Old South Road are heavily trafficked roads in the village. Uh, there are walkers people visiting um, of construction on this road. So uh, it's virtually impossible to park a visitor card on Pequot Avenue. And so what happens is on Old South Road, there's a lot of congestion. Cars are parked up on the grass. Um, bluestone curbs have been broken. And as we all know, walking around the village, those beautiful sidewalks are getting cracked from people parking on them. So we thought that by creating a designated parking spot for visitors or whoever's coming to the house in this pull-off would alleviate that congestion and um, create a safe and um, a better um, parking situation for this corner lot. In turn of events, when we were researching uh, the property, uh, we actually pulled up these old aerial photos of the, the house from 1934. This isn't very clear in the blow up, but if you look here, there's uh, the library arc, and here is Old South Road, and here's Pequot. There was an old driveway there, believe it or not, and an old garage. So where we are proposing to do a little pull off, 
there actually was a driveway. And then my client uh, reached out to one of the previous owners and they found this fabulous photo, which is much clearer as well. Here's the house that there used to be a driveway here in an old detached garage. So, while we might not be proposing a full driveway uh, in that area, we do feel there is uh, a historical precedent to a driveway being located. Um, and uh, the address of the home is on Old South Road. So we do feel like it does make sense for um, for the property to have. And I just had to show the share this picture because I thought it was so cute um, of having a pull off in that area. Um, so that is our item number G for the two car gravel pull off. And then the last item. Sorry, I know this is a long application. Very quick. Um, needed to include this in the application, but we thought it couldn't hurt. Um, there is a walkway to the basement here, and I, I don't think you can see this, but we uh, need to put a railing on the walkout for safety reasons. So we are just proposing a thin black um, aluminum picket uh, drop off rail to go around um, this space right here. And we have a detail um, in our drawing of what that would look like um, in the back portion. Um, so that is our application. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer um, any of them. Christina, I think my, the, I'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing this, but the video is disconnected. Good. Can you hear me, Christina? Can, Christina, can you hear me? Christina? <clears throat> Christina, can you hear me? Yep. I don't I don't have any video. I'm not sure if anyone else does. Do you have video? Yeah, I I do have video, Adam. I, I've been able to see everything. Okay, I lost video. I can't see you anymore, Adam. Yeah. See my video? Uh, I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on. Um, oh, there you are. Okay, you're back. Yeah, we have. Did anyone? Okay, great. All right. I mean, I could hear you the whole time, and you just you your the video went out sort of towards the very end, so not a big deal. Um, George, do you have any questions? Do you want me to go over any of the items, Adam, that you couldn't see? No, I don't think so. I think uh, I think we're good. I got I got most. I mean, you went all through all the items that, and I still had video, so it's just sort of at the very end. Christina, thank you. George, do you have any questions? Yes, Christina, thank you. That was a nice presentation, and I love the house. So, um, but uh, I'd like to see. The areas where you're talking about taking out the white fence. If you just take me through that again, I'd appreciate it. Green again? I'm sorry. Yes, can you? Yep. You're okay. Sorry. You're here, my little hand. Yep, I see your hand. Pole right here, yep. and there's a section of picket right here. Yep. Get out, and then there's a portion right here. It's behind a shrub. Is is there so any? I have some... Avenue. Is there any along Pequot Avenue from the driveway towards the uh, what is it south? Your audio. Here is along Pequot. Yeah. Where your cursor is, go back over to the corner on Pequot. <clears throat> is there a piece of fence there? Is there a fence there? Yeah, right there. Right here. Yeah. And then uh, on the front area, you're just taking it out where you're putting the cut. Uh, 
I'm, I'm losing your audio. Just right here, we would have, we would just have the post end on either side of the driveway pull out. And that driveway is going to be gravel. Sorry, Christina, the driveway, the proposed cut for the two cars on Old South, that's going to be gravel. Christina, I think it's your ear pods, your ear pods are, they, they cut out. Yeah, so. it. just say yes, it is yes, gravel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, Put a speakerphone on your phone, on your phone, maybe. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, okay. Um, is that better? Yeah, that's much better. Thank you. I also oh, noticed, I'm sorry. I should have done it the whole time. I'm sorry. That's all. That's all right. That's, that's okay. All right. We're cool. Uh, I noticed on here a generator. Was that approved prior? Uh, no, we did not include that in the application because we did not think that that was in the view of the public way because it's behind this corner and you can't see it from up here. Okay. But we Just, can include, we can, we can add a new application if you think it's in the public way. We just didn't think it was in the view. I just, just commenting on the, because it's in the drawing. Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Of course. Thanks. Thanks, George. Art? Um, nothing for me, Adam. Uh, we'll reserve it for executive session. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Chris? Thank you for your presentation, Christina. Um, yeah, I want to just kind of um, echo George's comment on the generator. Um, <clears throat> you know, if, if the fencing around that stair to the lower level is visible from a public way, then I believe the generator probably would be as well. Possibly at least. So we should. Um, okay. The, I think the commission would want to rule as to whether or not that's um, visible from a public way. But we can do that at a, at a separate application if need be. Um, sure. The the um, your item G the the new pull off for the uh, for parking on Old South. Um, I'm a little bit concerned about what that does to the the look of Old South with a, another yet another driveway with cars parked in it, um, and so I'm I'm uh, concerned about that. And I also wondered um, the photo that you brought up that showed the dog with the oh. old driveway there. It had some really <laughs> nice um, starting and ending posts for the fence. I wondered if you were going to, you didn't really indicate how you were going to terminate and begin that fence if, if you were to um, get approval to build that uh, gravel pullout. Oh, so I see. Those, you're, you're talking about these right here. Uh, the smaller ones, I think, were the in, behind the dog. Oh, these. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a that's a really good point, Chris. They are really beautiful. Um, and this this photo was just given to me um, a couple days ago, so I didn't know about it. Um, but you do bring up a very good point about the detailing of the post. Okay. Um, and those and otherwise a very good presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. And <laughs> you know we would um, be happy to look into the detailing of the post um, further uh, if it would make um, it feel more natural. Um, and if I pull up the, this front gate has a small uh, finial um, like the one you're talking about as well. Um, I think part of the idea of not having a detail would just to give the hierarchy to the front entrance, but like you pointed out, there is that precedent that does make it very elegant. 
So I agree. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Rosina? No questions. Has. Everything was clarified in the last um, questions. Thank you. Thank you, Rosina. So, um, Christina, the, this picture that you have up, what is that? Is that a, a, a driveway? Was that a driveway? Do you know what that was? Picture, yes, it appears that this picture shows the entrance to the old driveway. Now, so the driveway used I, to be on, on Old South Road. So this this um, this post is actually the this starts of two two five. Yeah, and this, it doesn't have a section, signal on it any longer. Yeah, it doesn't have a signal on it anymore. So there was just a short section, maybe an eight foot panel, and then there was a driveway entrance. Um, I I did I did not include this photo in the application because I um, I didn't have it when I submitted. Um, but I hope it's okay that I showed it today because I thought it was worth yeah, of course. sharing. Okay. Yes. Um, I just like to and know then what. That, it, sorry. Go ahead. That picture. There's no. There's no fence there now in that picture. No. So this was before that driveway was paved. That was when the driveway was so, dirt, and then the fence was added. So the original driveway was there. You you believe in the. The, the driveway on Pequot did not exist? Yes, because this was uh, a old garage. You can kind of see it behind this tree. This mm -hmm. was a detached garage in the rear. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, other than that, I have no other questions. Um, and I did not receive any letters in favor of this application, and I did not receive any letters opposed to the application. So the hearing is closed. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is Jessica and Mitch McManus, 1088 Harbor Road in Southport for property located at 1088 Harbor Road in Southport. To A, remove existing garage. B, new garage. C, new fence. D, new fieldstone paver outline to front parking area. Hi, I'm Jessica McManus, 1088 Harbor Road, and my architect, Bill Levy, is also here. Say hi, Bill. Um, hi. All right, how do I share something? Like, how did everyone do that? Share, There's a button on the bottom, content. a big button to say share, yeah. And then you share your screen okay. and then just navigate to what you want to show. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm just see if I can share it, if I can figure it out. If not, maybe Adam, can you pull it up? Uh, let's see. I can. Give, give it a try, though. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think I, I think I might have known it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, doke. Oh, cool. So you guys have the plot plan that I gave. I should have put it on here and I didn't. Um, I'm gonna, oh wait, where is it all? I'm only seeing this one thing. Okay. Okay, so my garage was built in 1930. Um, functionally, obviously that small little thing does not, you know, fit the house or much stuff. I mean, it's basically like a bike shed. You certainly cannot put cars in it. Um, we do have four drivers at my house and quickly approaching on five. So we have lots of cars that are always out. Would love to kind of get some tucked back um, behind the house. So we want to take this small little garage down and as you see on the plot plan, put, um, take it off 10 feet off the property line and build a new one. Um, so here's a picture. My architect was able, he sort of like just superimposed what it would sort of look like. Um, the garage we're, we're hoping for is actually the same exact one you guys just approved on 171 Old South. 
but smaller. We don't have, um, it's not as big as that, but same garage. Um, and so, and actually we, you would see even less of it than is shown here, but it's just to kind of give you an idea, because I think you would see maybe um, like three quarters of the one door. So it would really be tucked behind the house. Um, we were hoping on the dormers to do um, the standing seam metal roof in dark gray, um, which would match the shingles. Okay, I'm gonna go back <laughs> up to and show, so these are the plans for it. And then Bill, when you guys have questions, Bill can sort of answer your questions on that. Um, then, so obviously the windows are all wood, the garage doors are all wood, um, overhead, o overhead doors. Um, what else was I gonna say? Let's see. So then we were going to, from the property line over to the garage, we were gonna put a tongue and groove fence just to keep all the storage stuff hidden from view. So you wouldn't see it. So there would be a gate so you could get in stuff in and out. There's like jet skis out there. I don't know if anyone drove by today, but you know, we've got a basketball hoop that we tuck away in the winter, um, just stuff like that. So we would keep it out of view. And that's just keeping with actually the fence. That's, that's my house. That's the fencing we have. Um, and then I just have added, so this is my next door neighbor to the right. And as you see, they have a huge, you know, two story, two car. Theirs is actually called a bungalow. It's an apartment above. Um, and that's a, a really big structure. And then the neighbor to the left also has um, a garage with a, a storage space above. So we are hoping to build a storage space above our garage. I mean, our basement actually gets water, really limited in what we can put down there. So again, just more storage. Um, Here's a picture pretty much of what it's gonna be, except for this uh, window on the right. It's gonna look just like the one on 171 Old South. And then this is an aerial shot. So in the middle is my house to the left. You can see my neighbor to the left has used up every bit of his space and on to the right as well. Um, and then, Oh, I guess that's it. I thought I added one other thing. So that's the fence. And then the field stone paver was just, um, we wanted to reset the stones on our parking area um, are all kind of coming up. So we need to reset them and we wanted to reset them with a border around them. Um, and I didn't think to take a picture because I figured, um, Fieldstone pavers are sort of everywhere. We were gonna do just one sort of strip around it just to um, make it nice and neat. So when we reset those, it would all be nice and neat. But I should, I guess, have a picture of that, which I don't. Um, and then here's the plans. So does anyone have any questions on that? Jessica, could you just show the site plans? So and the location of the fences and stuff? So I don't have that. You got that, I hand it in. Actually, wait, can I? Yes, I probably can pull that up. Let's see. I think I, yeah. Okay, I think I can, hold on. Uh, how do I do it? You're sharing now. Hmm. Sorry guys, hang on. I can pull it up if you'd like. Oh, do you have it? That would be great. That would make things easier and quicker. Appreciate that. Okay, Small, oh, thank you. Okay, so yeah, so there it is. So it's pulled off the um, sideline. 
and it's really kind of tucked behind the house, as you can see the side of the house. I mean, you're really only going to see, you know, a quarter of it. So you're going to see a lot less garage than you do now. And it's going to be a whole lot nicer than the one we have now. Um, just to throw in, um, you guys, there's the, the 72 Rose Hill Road. I know they just put a second story on their garage. 104 Main Street and the 171 Third South were all really recent sort of approvals that I was able to figure out. Um, and I think that's it. I'm sure you guys have questions. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Art, Art do you have any questions? Uh, none, Adam. Thank you, Chris, questions? Chris, do you have any questions? Yes, hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, thanks. Um, Jessica, thank you for your presentation. Um, a couple of questions. You had pulled up on your um, on your screen a, a couple of different images of the garage than what was in your application. So I was just wondering, um, you know, like you indicated you were going to do a standing seam roof on the on the dormer, but the application yeah. indicates maybe it would be wood because it says wood shingles. So there. the whole roof would be wood. And then I did um, ask Adam after the fact, and he said, just bring it up tonight today. So just on the dormers, um, you're only going to see the front, but the dormers both would ideally have standing seam metal roof. But the rest of the roof would be wood shingles. Okay. And and also that image of the image. Sorry. Sorry, Jeff, I couldn't hear you. What? The dormers are a little bit shit. So that's why that's why we have to know metal roof. Someone's got a lot of uh, Yeah, so I think I don't know, Bill was I think Bill was gonna answer that. So Bill can you respond can you to this me? again? I we didn't hear you. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. The uh, dormer uh, roofs uh, are. Uh, Bill, you, so, I think you have. You're, you're echoing. So I think what you need to do slopes. is mute on the WebEx meeting and then only talk through your phone. Yeah, you have two phones going. Can you hear me now? Yeah. My phone's not working. That's why I went to the computer. Now we hear Joe. Oh. oh. Well, as long as you don't have both. Oh. Yeah, so the dormer roofs are a very slow, low pitch, so you can't really use asphalt or wood on them. So that's why we went to the metal roof. What's the pitch? One twelve. Or is it one? Did you say it's a one pitch? Two on twelve. Two and twelve. That doesn't. I mean, is there another um, elevation of the of the garage that would indicate that two and twelve? Because it it doesn't appear. Oh, there's one. I don't think that that wasn't in the application. Yeah, this was this was we brought today. And and these these um, dormer windows, um, a little bit out of scale, um, and they're definitely a lot larger than the ones in the application. Is that is that what you're intending to, to build? Can you answer that? Because I don't know those details. Yeah, we were just trying to get as much light in there as possible. Um, but the application has a different elevation than this one. Different elevation or different size window? A drawing A200 um, that you're showing me right now is a completely different look than 
then the then exhibit D one, which is yeah. What you, which, oh, okay, what I actually do. For. I I want to apply for the one with the square windows. The with on the application is what we want to go for. Okay, except that it would have a um, standing seam roof on it. Correct. It, it doesn't appear as though that elevation is a 2 and 12 pitch uh, because the dormer is a lot is less high than the, than the one on the revised drawing. So I'm wondering if uh, Bill, if you think you really need to do a standing seam roof on that dormer. Well, we really are just trying to get as much space up there as we can. So as, as much space as we can get, we'd like. It's not that big of a space. We'd like to keep the roof, the two on 12 pitch, but we can reduce the windows. If that helps. Gotta be that square. Do you have, do you have an elevation? of the side that indicates the pitch of this dormer that you have, that's in your application? Not not that one. The one that is in your application, not this one. Yeah, the side elevation of this. Um, so I think like originally in the application, it was you would only see the front of it. So I think that you don't see the side of any bit of the garage from public view. So we just initially just submitted the front because you're not gonna see, you can't see even the side of the, of the garage, either side. Okay. So you wanna do, you wanna do the elevation that you submitted with the square windows, but the standing seam roof on the dormer. Yeah. And, yep, uh, please. and it looks like the the shingles on the roof are wood. Correct. Okay. Matching the house. It's all gonna match the house. The shingles on the on the sides and the roof. And and the trim and the the windows. I know the windows are indicated as wood, but the trim is all wood as well. Oh, well, yeah, we, I mean, we're going to do it just the way we did our house, which is all wood. And the garage doors are wood clad or all wood. Oh, um, sorry. And then the site plan indicates a, a lot of other things on it that weren't in the application. Is, is that because you believe they're not visible from a public way? Yes, and actually we had Adam come by just to confirm that and he did confirm that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Those are my questions. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Chris. Rosina. My main concern was also the difference between the application and the, both the rendering and the other drawings since the windows looked completely different. So. Yeah, now we're doing um, the application. Okay. Yeah. And just to confirm, you Except don't have any side views of the um, garage, correct? At the moment? Well, he, no, he did. They were on there. They're, I mean, not, they're on, where are those still? Did you, were you able to maneuver this or no? <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, yeah. Sure. There's a side view. <laughs> So toward my neighbor won't have any window. And then toward the inside of the yard we'll have one window and the door. The one on the application, the dormer is fairly different to this. It is? Yes, completely different. Yes. Why is that completely different? I guess that's where I don't know. Bill, you'll have to answer that. You see the proportions of the window and the proportions of the dormer itself? I see the window, yeah. We would like we would like to keep the 
two on 12 fit, but we would reduce the windows in the, not the application, the one that she's showing now. It's the same size, it's just the windows and the pitch. <clears throat> Which one are you asking to be approved? The um, computer version or the hand drawn version? The one on the right, but with smaller windows. The, the low pitch metal seam roof, but we can, we'll reduce the windows to either make them square or not as tall. Well, I think they need to know. So why don't we just say, I like I liked the picture on the left of the square one. That's the, and do you know what size that would be then, Bill? <clears throat> Can you hear me, Bill? Three foot, three foot by three foot. Um, it, it's going to be difficult to kind of, in my opinion, approve something that has two different drawings, but I'll let everyone else um, have their turn with questions. Thank you. Thank you. George? Oh, uh, yeah. Question. There are no lights outside this garage. That there will be on the side where the door is, which is what we have now, but again, you won't see that. That'll be completely behind the house. And if I add with lights, I will have to, I'll, I'll come back to add that. Yeah. I think, I think that would be important. Uh, yeah. Especially the light up between the house. And I mean, we have just spotlights on our garage now, so I guess if we kept it in kind, but I'm sure we could do something nicer. Well, if you're going to so do, I'll, I'll just, a new garage, I would think would be new lighting and you'd want to submit it. Separately. Yeah. Right. Yeah, uh, I will do that. Okay. The, I, I kind of agree with Regina. It's a little difficult with the, with the way drawing says one thing. Uh, it's a little confusing, but uh, let's see how it goes. Thank, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Jessica. Thanks, George. Um, Jessica, you, you, will, you will have to come back for any lighting on this on this garage. Yeah. Um, even if the even if the fixture is not visible, the light will be visible, and we need to know what sort of fixture you're going to be putting in. Not for aesthetics necessarily, but you know we don't want you to put okay. something that's shining up into the trees or whatever. Um, okay. And then we'll with do. regards to the to the to the pictures, I'm, I'm afraid you, know, you you did throw me for a loop when you sent me this the second set of drawings. Um, Trying to trying to be, you know, add more detail to it and having it be so much different than the original. Um, you know, I guess I do guess. like the, I do like the one on the left much better than the one on the right. Um, but I now really you're caught too. between your your architect saying you like he wants a shallower pitch, and clearly the one on the left is a much steeper pitch, and that and that head height, you know, the head height of those windows is probably pretty low um, compared to the one on the right where, you know, you have. I don't know what it is, but you know you have a significantly higher uh, head height, and it's much more unattractive, you know, from my perspective. Um, the one on the left, you don't, you wouldn't require to have standing seam because the pitch is probably more like a six pitch or something like that. Um, but how much space do I have in there? Like, can you stand up in there, or not really? Well, here's the thing. That's why you, you, you need to um, resolve this before you come to us and, and figure out what you want to what you want to build and what it's going to look like. Um, you know, we can tell you what I can tell you the one on the right. Um, the proportions are are not great, and I would have a problem with that. Even though it's probably that's going to get you the most space up there. Um, and the one on the left, I think, is is more attractive. But in terms of what the what the dimensions are, you're going to have to have you know your architect. Uh, draw a section through there and 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 show you what the exact dimensions are. Um, but I mean, 
I mean, I've been I trying to, get to work with you. I've been trying to work with you to get this through, but this this sort of throws things off quite a bit. And, and yeah. I, I'm not oh, going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to approve it. You know, to, under, but under what if I just go for the one on the left and don't deal with the one on the right, and I just deal with the lower headspace? Well, I mean, we could, but then again, there's really not enough information. You're not showing me. You know, you may, there's no pitch on this on this roof, so now now that's up for grabs. You can make it anything you want, you know. Um, so well, I don't I, think I, I think can need... due to zoning and town regulation. It's four on twelve. Well, right now, you, right now you have two options. You have a, the two pitch that's shown here on the right, and then you have this other steeper pitch, which is you know, question mark. We don't we don't know that is your architect hasn't been able to tell us, um, so we don't know what that pitch is. So how are we going to be able to enforce it know what that in is, the though. future? Four on twelve. Tell the one on the left. Four on twelve. Four and twelve. Four and twelve. And you know what? I'd like to see that in a side elevation. Um, you know, there's too many, there's too many unknowns, Jessica. I, I, you know, I wish I could, I could be um, more lenient. I mean, I was trying to work with your application. Um, but, you know, we'll talk about it in executive session and see how the other commissioners feel. I mean. We'll go in there with the with the understanding that that the left um, elevation is what you want, and we'll talk about it and decide whether we can approve it or not. Um, and that's okay. the best I can I can do for you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, now I, I did receive I did Sorry. receive uh, some letters in uh, favor of this application. Did not receive any in opposition of the application, but I'm going to read they have three letters. <clears throat> uh, first letter is from um, Priscilla Graham at 275 Willow Street in Southport. Dear Mr. Clyburn, my name is Priscilla Graham. I live at 275 Willow Street in Southport. A neighbor at uh, 1088 Harbor Road in McManus's would like to build a two-car garage in place of the existing one-car garage. In support of their plans, I'd like to notify you that we, my husband and I feel it is absolutely appropriate for McManus's to have a two car garage in this day and age. It will not be seen by the public, only neighbors such as us and the adjoining neighbors. The Supernaws will also support the garage. Thank you for your consideration of this recommendation, Trusilla Graham. <clears throat> uh, the second letter is from Chris and Scott Supernaw, 247 Wall Street. Just dear Mr. Clavery proposed the purpose of this email is to support the moving to the McManus garage closer to our property line, which directly abuts the McManus property line. We similarly endorsed years ago the movement of the McMahon garage, the McManus neighbor, closer to our property line. This is uh, super up. And the third letter is from Michael and Ellis Weatherly. I have recently become aware that of the fact that there is some opposition to the enlargement of the garage at 1088 Harbor Road owned by Mitch and Jessica McManus. They wish to enlarge their existing one car garage, which was built many years ago into a two car garage. Their garage is in their backyard and should not have any impact on the character of the beauty of Harbor Road. We have no objection to the enlargement of this garage and hope they will get permission to do so. Sincerely, Mike Lynn, as it Ellis Weatherly. And I did not receive any, as I said, letters in opposition. Um, was there any more uh, comments? We have any more comments that uh, you heard? Jessica, did you want to? Do you have anything else to say or not? Um, no, but if I have to come back, like you just keep those letters and and whatnot, right? Um, yeah, a new application. A new application would require. You know, to resubmit those letters, um, you know, I, I can send them to you and you can resubmit them with your application if you like. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to keep, you know, copies of, of past uh, application letters to include Yeah, I would take them back then because I don't want to ask them to, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Um, okay, thank you. So the hearing is closed. Thank you. Um, I think 
uh, Jeffy is just sharing the screen. Um, next item on the agenda is Mr. and Mrs. Robert C. Wright, 260 Harbor Road in Southport. The property located at 260 Harbor Road in Southport to A, extend existing painted wood picket fence, and B, two new copper post mounted lanterns along parking court. Hello, everyone. Uh, can you all hear and see me okay? Yes? Yes, yes, near you. Okay, terrific. I can't hear you now. Okay. There you go. Better? There we yep. go. Apologies. Uh, again, starting, my name is John Wazalewski. I'm with David Scott Parker Architects, and we are <laughs> representing the applicants and owners of the property, uh, Bob and Susan Wright, who reside at uh, 260 Harbor Road. Um, and let me go ahead and share. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. All right, so there are two parts of this application. The first is involved with the fence. Um, you can see here, this is a plan of the uh, site plan of the property and the plan of the, the property that folks, you can see a section of Harbor Road and the portion of the fence that is being proposed. Um, the photo at the top of the page shows uh, the existing condition and you can see what the existing fence looks like. The proposal is to extend the existing fence approximately 27 feet to the um, edge of the property, uh, which uh, we can see in the photo below what that would look like. Um, so it's intended that we would continue the exact same wood fence uh, with a planting bed in front of it, cutting back uh, the large evergreens. Um, sorry about that. That was not supposed to go yet. There we go. Um, the details, the drawings below uh, document the details of the existing fence. Uh, is a painted wood fence, and in fact, they are they intend to have it made by the exact same person who made the existing fence, so it will match the existing fence exactly. Um, on the next page, uh, so on the next page, uh, the intention is to add two traditional post-mounted lanterns um, along uh, at two locations on the driveway. So again, this here is the house. This is Harbor Road. This is the existing driveway. And you can see the two locations here and here where they would propose to add these fixtures. This image shows you what the fixture would look like. However, the um, intended fixture would be copper as would the post. Um, they are um, low intensity LED, uh, it's a 20 watt equivalent, 20 to 60 watt equivalent, although they burn the lower law wattage. The fixture itself is about 18 inches tall and the and eight and a half inches wide. The total height is proposed to be seven <laughs> plus or minus 78 inches off of the grade. And I don't know if you can see it on the, let me go back. Uh, yeah, you cannot see it in this photo. Okay. Uh, and that's it. Okay, thank you. Um, Chris, I'd you start. Thank you, John. Uh, great application as always, and I have no questions. Thank you, Rosina. No questions, thank you. George. Questions, thank you very much. Thanks, George and Art. None for me, Adam. Thanks. Thanks, Art. And I do not have any questions either, John. Um, did not receive any letters in favor of this application, and I did not receive any letters opposed to this application. So the hearing is closed. Thank you. Perfect.
Um, not sure how to stop sharing. Um, it should just. Oh, oh, here. Got it. Uh, yeah, on the bottom, we should go. say stop sharing. Okay. Not sure how we get. Thank you. Great. Okay. Um, move on to our executive session and consideration of public hearings items one through six above. And we will start with the Southport Congregational Church, 612 Pequot Avenue in Southport, or property located at 612 Pequot Avenue in Southport for a new fence to replace existing parsonage. Can I get a motion, please? Yeah, Art will move to uh, approve item A as presented, Adam. Thank you. Second. I'll second. Rosina seconds. Discussion? No discussion. Okay. Let's take a vote. All in favor? All in favor. All opposed? Not opposed? No abstentions? Motion passes unanimously. Second item is Old South Road LLC, 171 Old South Road in Southport for property located at 171 Old South Road in Southport 4A, Garage Cupola, B, change previously approved Garage Light. Can I get a motion? Go yeah. with proposed A and B. I'll George, second that. George is uh, first and Chris seconds. Discussion? No discussion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? None. Abstentions none. Motion passes unanimously. Next item is Thomas and Wilson Black 889 Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 889 Old Post Road in Fairfield. For A, a new garage. B, lighting fixtures. C, change driveway. And D, stepping stones. Can I get a motion? Yeah, I'll motion to approve A, B, C, and D as presented. Second for discussion. Art makes a motion and Rosina seconds in discussion. Yeah, um, and I'd like to say that I believe since the fence removal is indicated on the site plan that it would be okay to incorporate incorporate that into our certificate of appropriateness as far as I'm concerned, even though it wasn't spelled out on the application. Yeah, I'd concur with Chris on that. I mean, you know, others may feel otherwise, but I, I'm good with I that too. I agree as well, so. Okay, I don't have a problem with that. It's just a technical, you know, technicality, but it can be overlooked. But, yeah, Chris's on idea now. could be, is is probably wise to, to point that out as, as indicated on the site plan. So how do you want to make how do you want to um, incorporate that in the motion? Maybe the motion could be amended to stipulate that the um, removal of the fence is implied and approved uh, as presented on the site plan. Yeah, you probably don't even mention have to mention the 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 implied part. Okay. Do you maybe want to restate the motion, Art? Um, say that again, Chris. I think somehow I was you just broke asking up. Maybe if you wanted to restate the motion for the record. Um, yeah, I I would. Uh, what just uh, quickly, if if anyone but knows which item like, the the fence is. Yeah, it's the not, driveway it's not, it's changes. Not there. The driveway changes occurred in um, item C. So I would say it would probably be there because that's where the the fence needs to be removed to make the driveway changes. Okay, then well, yeah, also, I mean it, well, also for the garage. Garage, yeah. I don't know, I guess uh approve A, B, C, and D. Um 
a I would just say B, stipulate that the removal of the C and D indicated on the site plan is approved. Yeah, or you could say uh, with the stipulation uh, that uh, the removal of the fence is indicated on the site plan is is incorporated into this approval. Good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, and we have a second for that. I'll second the revised. Okay, motion. very good. Okay, any other further discussion? Okay, no further discussion. All in favor? Motion passes unanimously. No oppositions or. Okay. Uh, next item is Richard Mervis, 249 Old South Road in Southport, for property located at 249 Old South Road in Southport, for a new gravel driver with cobble apron, new bluestone cobble landing, C, remove. Picket fence, D, install drainage grate at garage threshold. E, install side garden pave, garden paving. F, install new entry paving. G, remove section of picket fence along Old South. And H, install black metal railing at basement walkout. Can I get a motion? I'll make a motion for discussion to approve A, B, D, E, F, and H as presented. Um, and um, deny without prejudice C and G. And again, okay. for discussion. Yeah, I'll second that. And Art seconds. So A, B, D, E, F, and H approve and deny C and G. And discussion? Kind of mainly because um, as she indicated, they didn't have enough time to look at the picture that um, was presented with the detailing of the post. So if there are any revisions that they need or want to make to that, it might make some sense. So. Yeah, I could agree with that. The other, the other item um, that isn't in the motion, but did come up was um, George had commented on the the plan indicating a proposed generator and um, may or may not be visible from a public way. So um, that might want to be incorporated into this application as well. Isn't it, well. isn't the installation of the side garden paving behind the fence? So if you don't approve removal of the fence, how do they do the side garden paving? Uh, the fences that are being removed are in the front are all along the property line. Right, but but it doesn't it says install front entrance paving. Isn't that the new driveway that they're talking, the new cut on Old South? No, no, that's the that's, that's the that's, that's, on, the, that's in front of the front point. door. Oh, no, no, okay. it's on it's on uh, it's on Old South. Yeah, that's it's called front entry paving. Right. So we're, but we if we're not approving G, which is removal of the fence. That's for the pull off. That's for the G is for the pull off, and that's on Old South. And so is the removal of the section of the fence along Old South. So if we're not yes. going to approve the fence removal, what uh, you, you're not going to build a driveway, right? This is up. Side oh uh, side garden item paving. C, item C is. Hang on a sec. Let me let me pull up the let me pull. 
Not on Old South. Yeah, let me pull this out. G, G is the installation of the side garden paving. That's the new cut on Old South, correct? Hang on. No. G is remove picket fence along Old South for new two car gravel parking pull off and bluestone path. Yeah. And that's the one that was denied without prejudice in the motion. So the removal of that portion of fence and the new pull off would not be approved in this motion. Okay, that's fine. That's I'm going the same path. That's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So the original, but the other um, item C, remove picket fence, is referring to this section on the front of the on Pequot. That's Pequot. Correct. And the side and the side yard. Um, and the side yard. Yes. And we yeah. have and you have a problem with that, Rosina? I don't have a problem with no. that one. Um, but they didn't show how they are ending um, the picket fence, so I'm I'm okay with that one. I think Rosina's point is that the the photograph that showed the dog and had the um, the, the starting posts with the finials wasn't part yeah. of the application and Christina had indicated that perhaps they would want to um, add some detail to the end of the fence oh. where the where the uh, where it's being removed. I think that's referring to G, right? Well, I think it's it referring be to G, but does it affect in any way the other um, fence? Because we we so. were not I mean, shown kind of the ending of. Um, well, what's what has, has this now? Fence. But that will be removed. That would be removed, though. Yeah. So the question is, what? How does it terminate? I think they're taking that whole thing out, don't they? Okay. Does it turn the corner? They're only the taking thing, a portion no. of it out. For the sight line. Yeah. And they're placing it with kind of okay. the I'm sure that, light post. I mean, I'm sure I'm yeah, I'm sure they're gonna put it um you know, that finial or that 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 column at the end, whatever it's called, the uh post. The porch post, I guess you call it. Yeah. But they didn't yeah. say that. So exactly. I, I I understand that. Okay, I get you. So can you repeat the motion just so we understand because we seem to I want to make sure we have approve approve A, B, D, E, F, and H as presented, deny C and G without prejudice. <clears throat> okay. That's right. And that was seconded. Any other discussion? Okay. Just, All in favor? Uh, just just for oh. for discussion purposes, um, I'm I'm not really sure about the the new um, the pull off on Old South and how the commissioners feel about that. I mean, that would mean if you pull in there, you have to back into Old South or or back in there from from Old South, and I just don't know. There's a lot of congestion on that street already. It's very narrow, uh, and I don't know that, that that's something that would be desired in the historic district. But the neighbors across the street have exactly the same situation. Uh, they back out into the street. Uh, I think another driveway cut on Old South is not desirable. And 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 the uh, and if if we were going to do something which was for guest parking only, I I don't know if we're allowed to legislate that those those pavers that go on grass, so you end up with a grass surface, would be far more acceptable uh, if it's only visitor parking. But I don't know how you legislate that. 
Well, in terms of congestion, I think the the pull off will alleviate the congestion somewhat. I mean, right now people park on the street, and it, that's where the congestion comes. So I think it would alleviate the congestion. But the question is, do you want another curb cut on Old South? I, I think that is a good question. Yeah, that, that was that and, was. And I don't know if um, if this needs to go to another agency like the Public Works Department or um, you know planning and zoning before it comes to us. I'm not sure. Planning and zoning has to approve a curb cut. Yeah. No so apparently they already have it. which is, is just... yeah I mean because zoning is state has has their approval on the HTC plan so there shouldn't be any hurdles for them at this point from that perspective but anyway we're denying it for now so we can consider consider whether the um, Pull off on Old South is appropriate or not. Further. Okay, we ready to vote? All right, all in favor? All opposed? None opposed. Motion passes unanimously, no abstentions. Um, next item on the agenda is Jessica and Mitch McManus, 1088 uh, Harbor Road in Southport for property located at 1088 Harbor Road in Southport for a existing, we're moving to existing garage, B, new garage, C, new fence, E, new fieldstone paver outline to front parking area. Uh, can I get a motion? Again, for discussion, I'll um, make the motion to approve C and D and deny A and B without prejudice. C and D approve and A and B. Yeah, I'll second that. I think yeah, that's, that's the right way to do that. Okay. Art seconds. Okay, discussion. Um, the first thing, the standing seam metal um, roof, I don't think it fits in the historic district. Um, and the other one is the size of the windows in the rendering and the new drawings did not really um, look like it was <clears throat> kind of compatible to the character of the neighborhood. So, and that we will need to see um, side elevations, even though they're not visible from the front view, but it affects um, the front elevation one way or another. So, I don't have a problem with the standing seam, uh, but I think Rosina is right about the the windows and the elevation. I, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with the standing seam. There are plenty of examples of it in Southport. There's, that's okay. But I do absolutely have a problem with the with the drawings being a little bit inconsistent. Yeah, I agree. Standing seam is okay. The, the drawings were just too, too inconsistent. You have, you have no idea what, a, what she's really proposing. Un I mean, unfortunately. Unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It'd be good to see a section through that dormer. Um, I think the client or just would a, like that too, so she could see the head height at the at the window I, I, th I think with her concern for its head height it, and and approving it is kind of in conflict i think she should she should make sure it's right before we we put a nail in the wood yeah. i had i had one other okay. comment and i i guess i didn't really understand item d um put in fieldstone paver outline to front parking area. I don't really think I understood what that meant. I, I, I guess I should have asked more questions. I think she wanted to put a border around, like a, a border around the, the field zone and then the field zone in like a field. That's right. I think she wanted to that, frame inside the that border. She wanted to frame the field zone, is what I think. 
it says fieldstone paver um but the again it's it's like it's not clear very clear what she wants to do yeah right but we're but we're making a motion to approve it yeah so maybe not, i'm not really clear on it and i should have asked a clarification um Rosina, would you like to amend your motion? Um, will it be easier if we amend it so that all of them are denied without prejudice um, since they need to come back with more drawing one way or another? And the and the sure. you can't really put the fence up by the garage until the garage is built. Right. Exactly. Yeah, you're probably doing them a favor. Just yeah, do it all right. Oh, I'll I'll go ahead and amend the motion to deny without prejudice items A through D. I'll second that. George. Seconds. All right. All in favor? All opposed? Extensions. Motion passes unanimously. Um, next item is Mr. and Mrs. Robert C. Wright, 260. Harbor Road in Southport for property located at 260 Harbor Road in Southport to A, extend existing painted wood picket fence and B, two new copper post-mounted lanterns along parking court. Making a motion. Make a motion to approve items one and two as presented. First Second item. Motion yeah. to approve. Rosina seconds. Discussion. Okay, no discussion. All in favor? All opposed? Extensions. The motion passes unanimously. All right, moving on for approval of minutes for August 12th meeting. Um, Everyone was here, so can I get a motion to approve minutes? I'll make the motion to approve the minutes as um, presented. I'll Rosina, second that. Motion to approve. Art, all in favor? Correct. All in favor? All opposed? Vote. Extensions motion passing unanimously. Next few minutes, uh, we need one more person to approve those. Um, it's just me and Lizina were the only ones there. Lizina, um, when was um, when was this? This is a special meeting in in July. All the special the meetings. Handbook. Sorry. Yeah, it was just uh, it was uh, Darren Raymond, Locke, and Lizina, Jim, and myself. Um, okay, repairs. We have 144 Harbor Road and um, repair, repaid existing asphalt driveway in kind. We have no violations. Although I have received um, some letters from the Old Post Road Association regarding the past um, violations that um, that have been addressed but haven't been fixed, um, and have brought a couple other ones which have come up before the uh, the Burr Mansion. With the um, the exhaust fan on the mushroom that's on the side of the building that's not screened, and then there's something about some some kind of electrical units on on the town hall that haven't been screened either, which I'm not aware of, but I'll I'll find out what that's all about. Um, yeah, well, um, there was actually a um, they submitted and presented a fence, and I don't think. Um, have they installed that one yet? Do you, do you know what it was for? Old, old uh, town hall or new? Um, the old town hall. Oh, for the generator? I thought, uh, yeah, I thought so. No, that, yeah, that was done a long time ago, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So anyway, there's something else that, there, that that's out there that I'm not unaware of. Anyway, okay. Okay. I'll get to the bottom of that, but, um. As far as I know, most people have been um, abiding by the rules. Anyway, um, old business, the handbook is still um, sort of not going anywhere at the moment. It's um, 
but we have we do have a game plan. Just needs to be executed. Um, what else? The um, I think the reports that we need to submit, I don't know if you guys remember, Darren was, was mentioning the, the um, state of historic preservation reports that we need to submit every year. They haven't been done since uh, first quite a while. Um, so she's gonna get on top of that and get us up to speed with the reports. And, um, and then we'll be on top of that. Um, I have no new business. I don't know if anyone else has anything to bring up this evening. Adam, this is George. Yeah. On the note that I sent you regarding Newport and fees, did you look into that? What was it again? Uh, oh, the, Newport and fees. No, I have not looked into it. Um, it it's interesting though that they they actually charge pretty hefty fees too. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's, it's serious. It's five hundred dollars every time you go to a meeting for the for the for a house. And they charge fees yeah. to the applicants, and they use it. I had a nice talk with a lady at the at, at, in Newport, and they use it to fund the compliance portion. Ah. So when we look at, you know, we look at violations all the time, and how do you stay ahead of it? And what they're doing is when you submit an application for uh, appropriateness, there's a fee attached to it anywhere from, I don't know, what was it? Up to five hundred dollars for a full house, uh, and yeah. uh, and every time you go to a meeting, and that that goes into a fund that they then use for ensuring that that everybody's compliant with with the HTC policies. It's a, a very interesting interesting idea. It is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how the residents would would, <laughs> would yeah. accept that. Well, you don't have to start with you don't have to start where they started, but you know, it, it, yeah. even if it's fifty dollars or a hundred dollars, it, it it helps to feed the coffers that that. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Just that's thought. another. I think that might be another question for the town attorney to see. I mean, clearly, if they can do it, I guess we we should be able to do it. Um, you know, it's a different state. I'm not sure if that has any bearing on it or not. I, I have no but, idea. Um, I also found their manual when we were looking at you're talking about the manual. Oh, I looked at just their window manual and it was, I don't know, it was like 15 pages. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That drive, drive people crazy. Well, yeah, but I mean, it spells it out in, in Pablum, Pablum Simple. Yeah, yeah. Good point. I mean, can you get can you get a copy of that book? Is it yeah, online? I think yeah, I think I can get it. I can yeah, I'm sure I can. I can either pull it down or uh, or get it. But the the window piece has just been redone because I just happen to be put. I I am proposing putting a window in my house, and they they hit me. <laughs> they hit me with a <laughs> man. <laughs> I have a I have a feeling the window are, are we're probably a lot le more lenient on windows here than they are. Yeah, remember that they deal with a lot of metal windows because they deal with a lot of stone buildings. So there's a yeah. whole different thing about how you, you know, the trim and the sandstone and the, et cetera. So, yeah. yeah. They're iron. You also have the mansions, which are all in the historic you know. district. Yep. Yeah. That's, I live in a 1905 uh, Pope house. And so it's, it's, uh, yeah, I have to comply with the historic district. Okay, worth looking into anyway. Not sure where it's going to go, but. Yeah, it's a thought. Yeah, yeah, okay, thanks. Anyone else? All right, why don't we see the motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion. I'll, motion. I'll second it. George beat you. <laughs> <laughs> George makes a motion. Rosina seconds. All in favor? Sorry, Art. And right. the motion passes. All the yours. Answer. Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Take care. Have a good one. Nice. Have a good one. Good night, everyone.